Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and I am here with another sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. You guys, it is one of my favorite times of year, and that is Black Friday week leading up to Diamond Art Club's mountain of Black Friday releases that they will be sharing with all of us. If you haven't had the chance yet, please go hop over to Diamond Art Club's Instagram and Facebook accounts and check out the mountain, again, of previews that they have shared with us for kits they're going to be releasing. Friday. So let me give you really quickly all the details for the Black Friday release so you have all of that handy. So um, this kit, along with all of the other Black Friday releases, are going to be offered at a very deep discount, but for a very limited time, just until midnight on Friday night. <laughs> and, and that's Pacific time. Um, and they're going to go live and be released at 6 a.m. Pacific time for the general release. And if you happen to be in the diamond level tier um, of the Diamond Art Club Rewards program, you will actually have early access to the Black Friday releases beginning at midnight Pacific time. Um, Friday. <laughs> Th late Thursday night. So when you're in that in that turkey coma, try to stay awake and make it till release time, especially if you're on the West Coast. We just have to make it till midnight. So anyway, I've absolutely loved what Diamond Art Club has been sharing, and I am really, really grateful that they have sent over this kit for me to share with all of you and hopefully help you make your decision about what's on your wish list for Black Friday. All right, my friends, so this kit is the absolutely adorable Spring Lil Dragons from Sheena Pike. Sheena Pike has a number of these really adorable dragons series licensed with Diamond Art Club, and this will actually be my first. So I'm really excited about this one. As soon as I saw the color palette for it, I was like, this is the color palette I have been waiting for from her series. So I love all the muted pastels in it and the background. I cannot wait to get a good look at it. So on the box itself, I just took all the plastic wrap. Um, this tells us it's gonna be a square diamond, diamond painting kit, square drill diamond painting kit. This has all the information about the size and whatnot. And then on the back we have um, all of the info about how to diamond paint. Uh, if you're new to diamond painting, um, I recommend not only looking at that, but also check out some YouTube videos. Uh, there's some really fantastic and helpful tutorials out there. So what's in the box? <laughs> so we have our, of course, a toolkit, which will have everything in it that you need to, your, to do your diamond painting. And and get all of it out. There's a bunch of these little plastic baggies in here that <laughs> always want to get a little stuck. We're going to call that user error. <laughs> uh, so yes, Diamond Art Club gives you a whole bunch of these little Ziploc baggies that you can use to store your extra leftover diamonds in after you finish your kit. Then we have a couple of plates of the pink heart wax. This is a really nice quality wax a thin plastic multi-placer and a squishy for your pen. And then Diamond Art Club square drill kits come with tweezers and they are sharp, so keep that cover on. The kits from Diamond Art Club also come with these little stickers. I use these in my logbook. You can use these to put on the boxes to help with sorting through your stash. These are just really handy to have and I suppose you get crafty with them as well. <laughs> now in here in this lovely branded, um, dust cover plastic bag is everything else we're going to need for our diamond painting. Diamond Art Club's canvases are a really, I feel like they're just a really nice and high quality material. They're very sturdy, but um, they're also, they're a bit soft, which is nice. But really the more important thing for me is that are they going to lay flat nicely and are they going to hold drills well? And the answer is yes to both for Diamond Art Club. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she is adorable. Oh, I love her. She is so stinking cute. Okay, so we have all of our drills or our diamonds. We will get into these in just a little bit. 
Included in here is a step-by-step -step instructions booklet um, that goes into a little more detail for how to diamond paint. Inside here is a discount code. You'll also find a discount code at the bottom of the canvas on the packing slip that came in the box. That often has one. Um, once you've made your first purchase from Diamond Art Club, go ahead and join their VIP group on Facebook. There are exclusive discount codes and kind of like behind the scenes info, the insider info that Diamond Art Club will share in that group. I'll link it below. Please check it out. Um, also, if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and would like to save 20% off your first purchase, I do have a discount code that you're welcome to use. But just in the interest of full disclosure, it's an affiliate discount code, which means if you use it, I may make a small commission. But please do not feel obligated. The only thing I ever say is just don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. They really don't want you to. In particular, of course, if you are shopping on Black Friday as part of Diamond Art Club's Black Friday sales, I promise that they're, well, I can't 100% promise, but like I'm 99% sure the discount the Diamond Art Club is going to offer on the Black Friday kits is going to be a better discount than my affiliate code. So if you're shopping on Black Friday, don't use my affiliate code. Use the Black Friday discount code. But if you find this video in the future and are looking at making your first purchase, there you have it. Um, anyway, let's get back to the kit, all right? So here is this sticker sheet, which includes a space where you can write the start and end date. It has all the information about the artwork, including the artist, Sheena Pike. Look how cute she is, I love it. Uh, all the info about the kit itself. And then here we have our stickers. Um, you can use these for kitting up. They are all pre-cut for you. So if you'd like to kit up your diamonds into storage containers, um, this makes that process go really easily for labeling those. The color code over here, this is the same as the DMC color code. And in Diamond Art Club's numbering system, any numbers under the number 150 are going to be a kind of drill called an AB drill. I'll explain what those are in just a little bit if you're not familiar, but we're gonna have four of those in this kit and have 45 colors total. Uh, looking at the symbols, I'm not, I'm not seeing any that look too similar to one another at first glance. I don't think we'll mix any of them up, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the canvas just to be sure. <laughs> Along with that, I wanna show you the different elements of the canvas. So up here we have their branding. Also, if you take a look at the edges of the canvas, you'll see they're scalloped and they're also finished. Um, Diamond Art Club's canvases, you really don't have to worry about fraying at all. <laughs> now over here on the top left, we have the legend or the key code, and we have the same legend over here on the bottom right. On the bottom left, here is a thumbnail of the original artwork as well as all of the info about it. Um, and of course, notice copyright, Sheena Pike. One of my favorite things about Diamond Art Club and one of my top priorities and what I look for in diamond painting companies is that I, I will only purchase from companies that have legally licensed the artwork that they use from the artist. So what this means is that Sheena Pike has not only given her permission for the use of her artwork, but she's also being compensated for the use of her artwork in diamond painting form. Here we have Diamond Art Club's social media info. Like I said, I'll also link to their VIP group. And then here is a quick note about how they have a lifetime warranty and guarantee. So that means that as long as you've purchased your kit directly from Diamond Art Club, um, or for, I believe from one of their licensed retailers, just as long as you haven't purchased it secondhand from someone else, um, it will be covered by that warranty. And that means that if anything happens with your kit, if you have any trouble with the glue, the canvas, the drills, anything like that, uh, just contact their customer service and they will take care of you. Now, uh, if you're noticing what looks like here, what looks like wrinkles, those are not wrinkles. That's just where the plastic cover has shifted a bit where the canvas was rolled uh, for packaging. Um, you can either peel back the plastic cover and lay that back down to help those lay a little bit more flat or Diamond Art Club's canvases will lay flat on their own with just a little bit of time. It already is laying very flat. You can also roll it back the opposite direction and that will help as well. Let's look at the canvas itself a little more closely. And oh my goodness. So yes, this whole white background is massive amounts of color blocking. How many bags of this white color 38.65 is what it's gonna be. How many bags do we think there are gonna be of this exact color in uh, our drills? <laughs> now, um, the symbols are printed really clearly from what I'm seeing so far. 
And by the way, I always like to mention, if you're not sure what I mean when I say color blocking, um, that's just referring to when we have sections like this that are big chunks of the same color, you'll be able to use a multi-placer uh, and be able to keep that color in your tray for forever and ever and ever in this case, because look at all of that white background. Um, it is worth noting though, at least in my experience, okay, but look how cute she is. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her eyelashes. I love the love her eyelashes. Hold, hold that thought. I'll, I'll finish that thought here in just a moment. Let's keep looking at the canvas. Look at the pretty flowers around her head. I'm so busy looking at the picture. I need to make sure I'm looking at the symbols so I can tell you guys if anything looks problematic to me but nothing does. And look, I don't think it shows up very well on camera, but Diamond Art Club like sprinkles magic on their canvases or something because the canvas is literally like glitzy and glittery. <laughs> you won't see that once the drills are actually on it, but still super, super pretty. Uh, what I was starting to say was that I, just a word of advice. So, if you're looking at these massive sections of white and you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna use my multi-placer and breeze right through it. There's something about lighter colored drills, especially like white drills, that it can be just glaringly obvious when you've used a multi-placer. And if you're like me and you are a bit of a perfectionist and seeing those like shifts and gaps and lines and whatnot, if that's gonna drive you crazy, <laughs> I recommend using a smaller multi-placer, or if you feel like taking your time and stretching it out, um, just single place and use what they call the checkerboard method, which is where you place drills like every other spot. And so you're lining all of those up really carefully, and then you go back and fill in. Um, I don't really have a better way of explaining it, but uh, that's one way you can do it. But if you're like, I really want a multi-place and I really just want it to still look good, I actually did a series that I, well, it's just a two-part series that I did that I called Multi-Placing for Perfectionists. <laughs> and um, I did one that's specific to multi-placing with square drills. And I've been told that people have found that video really helpful, so I will be sure to link to that video below if you wanna check it out, if you're struggling with multi-placing and um, making it look really uniform. Maybe I'll have some tips in there that you'd find helpful. Um, if not, please check out videos from like my fellow creators. Uh, I'm sure that other people have thought of things and tips to share that I might not have, but okay, enough of that segue. Let's get back to this kit. Um, here are our drills. Diamond Art Club does label them here. So if you like to store the drills or the diamonds separate from the canvas and outside of the box they came in, they're easy to match up. But let's go ahead and get into these. Now I am nothing if not a sucker for pretty pastels, especially pinks, but like I'll take any muted pastels. So, so pretty. Uh, gorgeous packing job and moan of silence. And let's look at all of these colors together. So first up is this beautiful deep purple. And here we go with all of these white drills. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 bags of this white 3865, 11. <laughs> now Diamond Art Club does give you uh, plenty of drills. If for whatever reason you do run out of drills, contact them, they'll ship them right out to you. Um, but in my experience, I rarely run out of drills from them. So <laughs> it's possible you'll have a lot left over, but blues, look at that teal. And these, I don't, that's interesting. <laughs> that they have like the one little bag right there. Uh, again, this one's gonna have 45 colors. And of course, I always like to mention that Diamond Art Club did recently switch over to manufacturing all of their drills in-house. So that's both round and square drills. Okay, pause, I will go back to that. But first, here's our first AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and that's referring to this 
gorgeous iridescent coating that you can see on the tops of these diamonds. Um, you can see it's reflecting like all, kind of all colors of the rainbow on these white drills. Um, where these have been charted, it's just going to add an, a little bit of extra glitz and glimmer. It's gonna probably draw your eye to those sections just a little bit. It can really beautifully enhance a painting. And in general, I really like how Diamond Art Club charts ABs. Uh, we will take a moment to, uh, after we go through all the drills, I will be sure to show you where each of these four ABs that we have are gonna go on this canvas. So there's AB number one, and the second AB is right next to it. Look at this amazing pale lavender AB. I love it. Now, I always like to mention as well that one thing to keep in mind or just to know about AB drills is that um, the iridescent coating on the top often reflects slightly different colors than the base color of the drill. So even if the base color of this drill is this pale lavender, you can see that the colors on top are reflecting, I'm seeing pinks and blues and yellows, so it's not always gonna look exactly like that base color, but again, I found the Diamond Art Club is good about taking those reflected colors into account and charting it accordingly. So. Uh, I was starting to tell you guys about how Diamond Art Club started manufacturing all their drills in-house and how it's much more, much easier to tell with square drills, I find. Um, so one of the big differences is that all of their square drills that they now manufacture in-house will have 13 facets on top. The older drills will all have a mix of nine and 13 facets. These newer drills, you'll really tell the difference with the darker ones. They're very consistent in size and quality. Oh my gosh, they're just so perfectly cleanly cut. They're so, 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 so sparkly. And I feel like when I am running my hands over the bags like this, when I'm showing them to you guys, I can feel the difference in the drills. Like the new drills almost feel silky even in the bag, which I know sounds so odd, but I just, it's just something you notice when you do a lot of unboxings, I suppose. Okay, mint and pink. Does anyone else love that color combo so much? Beiges, greens, teals, aquas. Oh my gosh. The colors in this just make me so happy. Here we go. This is the last strand of drills. Here's our third AB, 127. Look at that pretty peachy color. Love that. Some more pretty muted colors, kind of earth tones. Just a tiny handful of these dark colors. I love all the gorgeous bright colors in this one. All right, fourth and final AB, 101. This is kind of a, it's almost like a Tiffany blue AB, but just like with a bit of more of a gray hue to it, I feel like, a little, little bit darker hue. So pretty. That olive green bright blue, bright pink, and there we go. There are our 45 colors. Now let's start at the bottom and work our way up, and I'm gonna point out where we have those ABs in this kit. So down here at the bottom, make sure you guys can see, yeah. Uh, we have some of the white AB through here, all through these areas, which in the original artwork, those are these really p pretty like tufts around the nest. There's white ABs in those. And we have those white ABs kind of making these little sparkle Xs here. That's super cute. The pale lavender AB is all through her egg, this egg. So all of the lightest parts of the egg, if you look at the original artwork, are gonna have bits of that lavender AB highlighting them. And um, I know you've probably heard me say it if you've watched my unboxings before, but um, I like the way that Diamond Art Club will chart ABs in such a way that it's like, where does it make sense? Like where are the lightest areas, where is the light reflecting off of? And that's kind of what I see with these pale purple ABs. If we keep going up, I wanna make sure, cause all these are really light colors. I'm afraid I might be overlooking some, we'll see. <laughs> There's the pretty white AB is kind of outlining here, all through here and here. This is just such a sparkly kit. There's a little bit of that, let's see, three, 127. Was that the pale, that was the pale pink AB. We have a little bit of that alongside the white AB in here. You guys, this kit is so adorable. I can't can't get over it. Again, more of the pale lavender, 
on the highlighting parts of the shell. A little bit of the lavender and the pink AB here. Is this like her little wing? Yeah, it is, so cute. A little bit of the white AB on her nose. I keep calling her a her, but I suppose this could be a male dragon. <laughs> or an NB. Um, white ABs here in her eyes. Oh my gosh, that's so, 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 so cute. Oh, I love it. And the pale purple, white again. And then up here, this has to be where the blue AB is. Am I missing it? Okay, here it is. Okay, here's that Tiffany blue AB. See, it's off here to the side. Oh, okay. I think that makes sense. I did miss a little bit down here. Okay, so there's some of the pale, that Tiffany Blue AB off to the side here. And just a little bit sprinkled again, kind of where there's sort of these like little sparkly magic bits coming off of her. There's some back here as well. And it does look like I missed just here. There's a little bit of that blue AB right here. Anyway, I really, really like where they've placed those ABs. This kit, oh my goodness, this is absolutely the <laughs> my the most adorable and like my personal favorite of any of the Sheena Pike dragons that have been released. And I am thrilled that I was lucky enough to get this one as a sneak peek and absolutely I will be working on this one because I'm gonna see it as a bit of a personal challenge to see if I can multi-place these white backgrounds and make it still look uniform, which you don't have, yours doesn't have to look uniform. This is just me being too much of a perfectionist. But also these colors are going to be so happy and sweet and soothing um, to work on. So you guys, this kit, if, if it is looking like your style at all, um, definitely add it to your wish list. A lot of times these Sheena Pike dragons do sell out quickly and it's really hard to know what's going to happen on Black Friday. So set your alarms. Just to recap all of the info about the release itself, this kit, which is Spring Little Dragons from Sheena Pike and Diamond Art Club, will be releasing along with the other Black Friday releases here on Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to convert that to your time zone um, for the general release and for the lower tiers of the Diamond Art Club Rewards members. Um, and this, along with the other kits, will be offered at a deep discount for a very limited time, just till the end of the day on Friday. Again, if you are a part of the Diamond tier, you should have received an email, but um, you will have early access to the Black Friday release at six hours prior to the general release. So midnight Pacific Standard Time. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing a live with some friends to help us all stay awake until release time. So if you're not already subscribed and want to come and hang out with that and make sure you get a notification for it, um, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you and love to have you come and hang out. Uh, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video was helpful for you in making the decision about if this kit is on your shopping list for the weekend or for the future. So please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I would be more than happy to help. And otherwise, I hope you have a really fantastic holiday weekend if you're celebrating and a fantastic weekend either way. Um, but but yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.